Therefore, when there shall, when there shall be seen earthquakes uh -huh. and uproars of the people. You gotta slow that down, man. You gotta slow that down. Read that verse again. Therefore, uh, second Elders 9 verse 3. Yep. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes. So it says, therefore, when, th when thou shalt see earthquakes, go on. And uproars of the people uh -huh. in the world. Yep. Then thou shalt well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, yeah. even from the beginning. That's right. So the law spake of these things from the beginning of time. So all of the yes. travesties that's happening today, whether it be protests, whether it be rioting, whether it be great earthquakes, this and that and the third, all of these things that have happened were already foretold to happen. But the Lord said to Ezra, when you see these things, then know that the Most High is going to visit the world which he have made. But well, he's going to send his son, which is, his name is Jehoshaphat. Okay, who you call Jesus Christ, the so-called black man, is coming to proclaim um, the earth. All right, but you're not, he's not going to come down in an image of man. He's going to come down with the chariots. So, you know, you're not going to see Jehoshaphat himself, but you're going to see the angels in the different chariots he's going to come in. That's what you're gonna see. So I want, so I want to get back to the, um, the the point of the matter about this um this hurricane situation, man. So this is from uh, you gotta look at these things, man. Yeah. This is the storm of the three holy children, chapter one, um, verse thirty-seven. Mm -hmm. O ye angels of the Lord, yeah. bless ye Yahweh, praise and exalt him above all forever. O, o all ye waters that be above the heaven, bless ye Yahweh, praise and exalt him above all forever. O all ye powers of Yahweh, bless ye Yahweh, praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye sun and moon, bless ye Yahweh. Praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye stars of heaven, bless ye Yahweh. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Verse 43. O all ye winds, bless ye Yahweh. Praise and exalt him above all forever. And that's it right there. That's the three, that's the prayer of the three little children. Now that's a true prayer right there because all of the elements, okay, they acknowledge the Most High, they do what the Most High commands. You understand? But the, the three little children, that was a prayer, you know, in terms of, you know, nature, you know what I'm saying, showing their praises to the Most High. You understand? So I want to read this verse, so basically, you read that. Read one last piece of Psalms 103, verse 20. Yeah. Bless Yahweh. Ye his angels yep. that so, excel in strength. Right, so it says, Bless Yahweh, and ye angels that excel in strength, go on. That do his commandments, uh -huh. hearkening unto the voice so of his right word. There. So if the angels are doing the commandments, then we should be doing the commandments. Okay, because if the angels are higher than us, then we should be keeping the commandments. Okay, like for example, our people, they should be eating no pork. They should be uh, committing adultery. And what is it? what do I mean by adultery, or what does the Bible mean by adultery? Meaning you're not supposed to sleep with another man's woman and these sort of things. Okay, smoking a ciggy or smoking weed. We're supposed to bun that and come back to the scriptures, man. You feel what I'm saying? That's what we're supposed to do. But the angels, they they do what they do the commandments of the Lord. Alright? And that's why the Most High is gonna send the angels to destroy the ones of our people that don't want to get right. Okay? That's the whole thing. So what I'm letting you know, my man, brother, is the fact that you're an Israelite man. I mean, I, I mean. Particularly from the tribe of Benjamin, are you, you're so called West Indian, right? Right, so you're from the tribe of Benjamin, okay, of the nation of Israel. The word Benjamin means uh, he's the son of the right, meaning you're the son of the most high. Okay, so being that you're an Israelite, you're supposed to come back to the Lord and serve him and keep his commandments to the best of your ability. You know what I'm saying? But if you, if you got time, we'll teach you so far. Go on. Go on. Bless ye Yahweh, ye his angels, mm -hmm. that excel in strength, yep. and do his commandments, yep. hearkening unto the voice of his word. Bless ye Yahweh, all ye his hosts, yep. ye ministers of his 
that do his pleasure. Your word for minister is another way of saying servant. Go on. Bless Yahweh all his works in all places of his dominion. Right. Bless Yahweh, oh my soul. Yeah, so that's just the whole point of the matter. The whole point of the matter is, is that now I want to go back to the point within that scripture he was reading in terms of how the angels control certain elements as well, but really by the most high. Like how you had a hurricane, you had a, the earthquake and stuff like that, he had to walk quick because he doesn't understand what I'm bringing about. But Fucking this ain't for man. everybody though. This is for our people. This ain't for no bar drinking Edomite, man. This is for Israel. So if you can't understand what we're bringing out, then hey, that's on you. Hey, that don't mean that we lost the follower. You understand? Because we're not out here to get a crowd of people and, and, and gain a, uh, what is it, a group. We're out here to gain the elect. That's the main point of the point. Go on, read that. Uh, this is Nahum 1 and 3, and it says, Yahweh is slow to anger and great in power, right. and will not at all acquit the wicked. But not at all acquit the wicked. And who's the wicked? The wicked is the so-called white man. And, the, and you also have the two-thirds of our own people too that are the wicked. And the Lord ain't gonna acquit them. That's why you got all these different travesties happen to our people. All right, why? Because they're evil to South man. You got the ones of our people, they're still involved in this gang culture. But they call hip hop. Okay, they're involved in all these different ideologies that ain't got nothing to do with the scriptures, man. All right, like you got the black unconscious movement. You got this movement, that movement. You feel what I'm saying? But they the most sides going this I knew all of that. You feel what I'm saying? Because when the Lord comes back, the Lord ain't gonna, the Lord ain't gonna give our people the excuse to say, well, our people are not gonna be able to say, well, you know, God, I didn't know. When the judgment time comes, you know, you can't say you didn't know because you saw the crowds. We was all over the internet. When you watch YouTube and that, there's Hebrews like brothers all over the world. Okay, and the reason why we all over the world because we're there to, um, we're there to blow the trumpet, meaning to warn our people of the impending da danger that's about to come. Okay, so uh, you, you read that. Um, Yahweh have his way in the whirlwind and in the storm Fun. and the clouds yeah, and the dust of his feet. Read that verse again. I start from the top says. Uh, Yahweh is slow to anger. Yeah, he's slow to anger. Go on. And great in power, mm -hmm. and will not at all acquit the wicked. Yeah. Yahweh have his way in the whirlwind. He have his way in the whirlwind, man. So that hurricane that's gonna hit Florida, okay? Hey, the Lord is orchestrating that through the angels. You understand? So that's what's going on right now. Because Yahweh Shai told told the, uh, told us all the disciples at the time that in the last days you're gonna have um what is it, scoffers. Well, Peter said that. Yeah, he said. Yeah, Peter said that. He said in the last days you're gonna have scoffers walking under their own lust. Okay, and um, you're also gonna see signs in the heaven. Uh, read it. Yeah. Okay, go. On. Saint Luke chapter 21 verse 11. Yeah. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places. Right. Great earthquakes, which is what we were talking about before. Go on. And famines and pestilences and fearful sights. Well, let's still, let's still in another aspect. So then you say famines, right? Pestilence and famines. Now, hunger. What's that? Hunger, famine, hunger. Right, absolutely. But what I'm saying is, is that you have a country in South America, in Venezuela, that's going through that. Okay, they, they're going through what we call hyperinflation. So, what is hyperinflation? Hyperinflation is, is when um, the power of the money deducts major and your um your goods skyrocket. Okay, all of the goods that you buy from the store, the skyrockets in price. So those people they don't they don't have access to get they don't have access um to buy food because the money is the, the, the money's too low. There's no power in the money. It's not because they can't get food. Now it's gone to the point where they have they have the um eat animals in the zoo, find any form of thing to eat. That's your family's going and famines and pestilences and fearful sights. And fearful sights. You have so called your bones, you have blue moons, red moons, I'm all over the place. Go on. Yeah. So it says, and fearful sights mm -hmm. and great signs shall there be from heaven. Go read that verse again. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines and pestilences, 
and fear for science uh -huh. and great science yeah. shall there be from heaven and great science shall there be from heaven okay so that's what we are right now that's why we this happening time and time again because if you notice um, yeah. what's that bro yeah absolutely you know but if you notice something all these different travesties that are happening on earth like back in the day they used to happen like every two years every year or so but now things are just happening every single month Every absolutely. Minute. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. If you want to exaggerate it, yeah, you can no, say that. No, more. no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true, it's true. Yeah. yeah, it is. It is. You wake up. You go to your doorstep outside. Mm -hmm. There's a newspaper. There's a showing you right, right, yeah, right. This is not every, every month. Yeah, I understand that. No, no, no. You right. Every minute. You right. You right, brother. Absolutely. Time is a sign. It's near. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Hey, I stand corrected, man. You corrected me on that. Hey, that's what it is. Then read that book. So we 39, I verse 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, yep. which in their fury lay on sore strokes. See, if, we, if, you, see, if you were to read this to an Edomite, mind, he would just run down the street. Is it says spirits created for vengeance? Mm -hmm. But see, the only people that's going to understand the scriptures, right, is our people. The ones that are on the side. So when we read this Bible to you, you can kind of see it. Like all people in the West Indies, they quote Bible verses and stuff like that. Everywhere our people are around, there's a, there's a church. Why is that? Because in a sort, some sort of way, we're connected with the Most High. You feel what I'm saying? But the thing with our people, they worship the Most High in a different fashion. You understand? But they're supposed to worship the Most High the way the ship is telling you right going. This in the time of destruction, they pour out their force. Right, so what I, want, what, what I would like to talk about is this, like what the scriptures are saying, it says that there's certain angels ready to do certain things or to bring about certain judgments. So when the Lord gives the command, then that judgment is it's activated. Just like how you have the hurricane situation over there in the States, okay, and, and elsewhere. Like in Mexico, you got another hurricane, an 8.0 um, earthquake that hit over there in Mexico. Just yesterday, the other day. So things are happening like you said, brother, every day. Psalms 35, verse 5. Let them be as chaff before the wind, and let the angel of Yahweh chase them. Right, because what, what is chaff? Chaff is just a little, a little increments of the wood after it's burnt. So when the wind comes to the chaff, it blows the chaff all over the place. Like when you do, in the Caribbean, when you do corn. Right. Goes yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's right. That's right. So you read that. You see, in the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Right. So that could be a that could be a, a forest fire, that could be earthquakes, that could be all different type of things. Read that again. So they say there be spirits that are created for vengeance. Right. Which in their fury we even got spirits of war too. Which in their fury lay on sore strokes. Uh -huh. In the time of destruction, yep. they pour out their force. Yep, so you got different angels that, like for example, you got all type of spirits out there, man. Yeah. You got spirits of, for example, you, you know those serial killers yeah. that go round about just killing random people. Yeah. They're spirits too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're certain spirits too. So if you if it's your time to get killed on that time, then that's just what it is. Okay. So the law controls all aspects of, 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 of the elements in this physical realm. So say, and in the time of destruction, they pour out their force right. and appease the wrath of him that made right. them. Right, and even when you read Revelations, uh, what is it, the seventh chapter? What, what does it That's the man's thing. Please. Please. They please him that made them. When they do that, they they please him. They they please him. They do as he commands. They do as he commands. If the law if the law commands an angel to do something, they do it. Okay, obedient. Right, right. Yeah, just be, yeah, just be patient. We're gonna, we're gonna deal with this person first. Is that me? Well, we gotta deal with everybody. No, because I'm like when people speak truth, I gotta do it. Right. Hey, that's, that's all right.
Right. And I say, Job chapter 4 verse 7, Remember I pray thee, whoever perished, be an innocent God. So yeah. where would the righteous pop off? Yeah, so it says, whosoever perished be an innocent. Now, like, like what does that mean? What does that go into? Because, I, because I mean, you may even say a newborn baby is innocent, right? You might even say that, but... No, I'm just, I'm just speaking in general, you know what I mean? How is the character? Sorry? How is it? It's going okay. Yeah. So read that verse again. It says, Job chapter 4, verse 7. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perish, be an innocent. Right, whoever perish. Read that verse again one more time. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perish, be an innocent. Whoever perish, be an innocent. My man, my man, he just story. told you to talk to me, bro. Have to be patient. So at the end of the day, like people will say, people will say, look, you know what I mean? Um, well, a newborn baby is innocent. Well, guess what? You the, the spirit of the Lord, okay, you the spirit, right? Those different spirits, let's say, for example, you was on the earth, right? I'm going to give an example. Let's say, for example, you died today, this particular year. Okay, you be in the spiritual world, okay, for a certain period of time. Your spirit, not, not the body that you have, but the spirit that will go to the spiritual world. For a certain period of time, you will come back again. The newborn baby in a different lifetime. And then you play out your judgment. Okay, that's what that goes into. Okay, that's why it, really all of us were reincarnated. We've all did things in our past life that were evil. Some were good. That's why it says, who so perish being is. Read that. It's our Ecclesiastics. I'll get to you. Ecclesiastics 3 and 16. Yep. And it says, um, and moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment that wickedness was there right. and, the, and the place of righteousness that iniquity was there. Right, so what is that place talking about? Is it talking about a different planet or a different realm? It's talking about the earth. It says a place under the sun. So it's talking about the earth. So you got a question, right? What's your question? Uh, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not How do you figure? Huh? How do you figure? There's no Joseph there for a start. Yeah, I know, but what, you have to, what I'm saying is, is you have to further, you have to show me that. You have to show all of us that. Because you can't make a statement and then not it's show the information. It's in there, in the Bible. But Joseph, okay, let me, okay, let me tell you something about why Joseph ain't there. Yeah. Find me the scripture where it speaks about Joseph. Um, who, who, whoever you know it is. I'm not going to give out the answer. Yeah, we're going to show you. We'll show you. Now you know the you know the one where it's about the Revelations um in the seventh chapter. But there's there's most of them. But there's another one too. But really I would like for you to get the other one. Because that one goes in too. Uh but please for you. Yeah, read that. Is, does it concern the matter? About uh Joseph. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, go on. It's uh Ezekiel 37 and uh 16 and says, Moreover, thou son of man. Take thee one stick and write upon it for Judah and, and for the children of Israel, his right. companion. Because Judah represents um, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. This is the tribe. Of, this is the whole house of Judah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it says what? Read that. Uh, for Judah and for the children of Israel, his companions, then take another stick and write upon it for Joseph, mm -hmm. the stick of Ephraim. Right. So I was telling you right there. Read that verse again. Uh, for Judah and for the children of Israel, his companions, mm -hmm. then take another stick and write upon it for yeah. Joseph. So the it stick says, you're going. For Joseph, the stick of Ephraim. So it says Joseph, the stick of Ephraim. So really, Joseph is Ephraim. That's why we don't need to have uh, Joseph here. Joseph is Ephraim. Now, we yeah, read that. Numbers chapter 1, verse 32. Uh -huh. Of the children of Joseph. So it says for the children of Joseph, because Joseph had two sons, right? Go on. Namely, of the children of Ephraim, mm. by the generations <laughs> after their families, That's by it. the house of their fathers, right. according to the number of the names from 20 years old and yep. upward, yep. or that were able to go, go forth to war. Right, so that's letting you know. I brought, brought up two scriptures. I didn't, I didn't break this. I didn't. I didn't bring this out of my behind. I, I read two scriptures to you, showing you that Joseph is Ephraim. Okay? Because really, Joseph, right? Because really, when you understand something, when you read the book, I don't cut you, my man. I don't cut you. I let you speak. I just want to say one thing. Now, when you read 
Joseph. Joseph had two sons. Yeah. He had um uh, he had Manessa and he had Eve. Okay. Yeah. So he took on so the father named him Eve. Go on, brother. But he comes from the line of Joseph. Go on, brother. Revelation seven of verse eight of the tribe of Zebulun was still twelve thousand. Right. Of the tribe of Joseph. Yeah. Was still twelve thousand. There's no Ephraim. When you read Revelation the seventh chapter, you're not gonna find you're not gonna find Ephraim. There. You're gonna find Joseph. Why? Because Joseph is interchangeable with Ephraim. Okay. That's why. So what should yeah, so you wanted to, you wanted to say something? Yeah. You want to say the original, the original, the original twelve tribes mm -hmm. that, were, that that were brought out by Jacob. Right. Were Reuben, Simeon, Levi. Bro, say, say that again, I didn't hear you. Say that again. Reuben, Simeon, Levi. Right. Judah, Dan. Uh -huh. Natalie, Gad, Asher, Issachar, mm -hmm. Zebulun, Joseph, and Benjamin. Okay, so what's the point? Yeah, so, so we're the names are different mm -hmm. for now. So are, you saying, so are you saying, are you saying that because Dan is not on the intro? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, Dan, Dan, Dan and Joseph. Well, you know the thing with Dan, Dan is amongst all of the tribes of Israel, okay? The spirit hasn't really revealed who Dan is today, okay? That, that, all we can say is this, right? The Lord will reveal certain things to us which later on. Okay, the Lord ain't gonna reveal everything to us, okay, at one given moment. There's a certain time period when the Lord will reveals that. Okay. Right. There you go. Can I say something? You say that? Uh, Revelation and 7, Dan is not there. Yeah, Dan ain't in Revelation yeah, yeah, yeah. 7. Come on. You see that? Because the Lord didn't reveal that particular thing. I tell you what, brother, hold that. I tell you what, hold that and give me Revelation the 10th chapter. Because um, when you read the book of Revelations, the most high didn't, the most high told John the Revelator to hide certain things. Yeah, okay, yeah, get that. Get that. This is Sirach chapter 3, verse 21. Mm -hmm. Seek not out the things that are too hard for thee, neither search the things that are above thy strength. Come on, come on. But what is commanded thee, think upon with reverence, for it is not needful for thee to see with thine eyes right. the things that are in secret. That, wow. There was still, there was still. There was still right there. So there's certain things. Can we not verse So they say, verse 21, mm -hmm. in our Sirach 3, Seek not out the things that are too hard for thee, neither search the things that are above thy strength. Right. But what is commanded thee? But what is commanded thee? Go on. Think thereupon with reverence. Think thereupon with reverence. So what is the commandment? The commandment is written what is, is in all these different scriptures that right. we read. Right. Thank you. And stuff like that. But the things that are unseen, go on. For it is not needful for thee to see with thine eyes right. the things that are in secret. There you go. So that's it right there. So there's certain things that we don't need to see all around. That's why he had to walk down the street, because he was cutting the spirit. Go on, brother. Be not curious in unnecessary matters. Be not curious on unnecessary matters. Read that verse again. Read that again. Be not curious in unnecessary matters. Uh -huh. For more things are shown unto thee mm -hmm. than men understand. There you go. Break that down, brother. Yeah, so really, everything that's been shown unto thee is everything in the scriptures. Mm -hmm. and, and and all these things in the scriptures, men don't understand these things. Huh. So all we need to be um, curious about is what's in these scriptures. There you go. That's all the Most High has given us. The scripture says the secrets have been revealed to the servants, the prophets. You understand? So knowing why, you know, you know why the why everything is three dimensional, mm -hmm. why space is three D. You got these different Edomite um, scientists. They're trying to over concern themselves right. with things that is, is un completely unnecessary. You don't need to know that right now. Right. Yeah, when Yahweh Shai comes, when he comes to, and the kingdom is established, Yahweh Shai will show. We got we got eternity yeah. to learn to learn about everything. But right now, is right now all we gotta know is the scriptures. When the kingdom comes, then we can be concerned with why space is 3D and right, you know right. all, all these other things. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, we're right, you know. So that's it. So, 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 so what's your, what's your question? Oh, I wanted to know what religion it was. Oh, we're Israelites. We're the Israelites. Israelites. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're the real Jews. I don't appreciate you. Okay, yeah, get that. Um, this is at Daniel 12 and 9, and it says, and it's. But you gotta start coming down more rapidly, my man. I want to see you come down more rapidly. It's rapid. just that I was working. I'm gonna. I'm going somewhere, but I'm gonna take some time out. Mm -hmm. and I'm, and I'm Me too. 
I want the love from you. I want the love. We are here to help each other. You, you get me? Mm -hmm. but, like, I'm, I'm not, I don't condemn people like that. Yeah. But he yeah, has still got to do this for me. Right, right. You can share with you. So, but you know though, at the same time, my man, I mean, you know, we, hey, we got to do that at times. Because the shoot tells us that we got to be um, instant in season and out of season, season to yeah. teach and yeah, repeat yeah, with all long yeah, suffering. Yeah, so yeah. sometimes there needs to be repeat and sometimes it's, it's peace. You know, oh, it's yeah, a time yeah. and a place if, for if, 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 you, if you fail to review when it's what? If I'm saying something wrong, correct me. There you go, brother. There you correct go. Correct me. Yeah. Put me in the right place. And there unless you your preaching will be in vain, put you me got in it, the brother, right place. Yeah. You understand me? Mm -hmm. That's what David said. Say it to him. Yeah, David said that. He yeah. said what David said. Yeah, I said to him. Because I'm running. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, you know, I appreciate it. So continue the good work. Mm -hmm. Don't get weary. Definitely, Definitely, really. Definitely. Yeah. One love. I one love, bro. Yeah. Shallow one. Mm -hmm. I'm from the Caribbean generally, so that how we. Yeah. No, no, it's just cool, bro. It's all right. It's all right. I, I don't disrespect the music. People that are coming in this, in this football game, that are happening. Listen, if, if I hear I'm a singer, mm -hmm. if I hear good singing, I gravitate to it. There you go. Bro. Same way, if I hear the preach words, mm -hmm. I gravitate to it. Because you're not chatting. Yeah. 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 So if you I'll take care, brother. You know, and the thing about it is, I mean, people can say what they want about us, man. It's, it's, it's all good, you know. But at the end of the day, I mean, it's, it's all going to be due to their judgment. You know, whatever they say about us. So it doesn't really concern us at least. Although I did say earlier, you got these scoffers that's going to talking about us. But it's not that I care. I don't really care. They can say what they want to say, but... What these, what these scoffers and scorners don't want to realize or fail to realize is that everything that you do, every idle word that comes out of your mouth, because what if we are the men of the Lord? Which, I, which, which that's really, which is evident in our eyes, really. In terms of, when you look at everything and you see how certain men are bringing out the word, you know who the spirit, you know who the spirit is of. Okay? But the point of the matter is, is if we're the men of the Lord and you scoffers and scorners have been getting at us and stuff like that. Hey man, the most is gonna deal with you on a, in a very destructive manner. Okay, in a very destructive manner, should I say. So you better hope and pray that we're not the men of the Lord. Cause your ass is gonna be out there looking silly. Okay, go on. Psalms 114 verse seven. Tremble thou earth at the presence of the Lord. You're going. At the presence of the God of Jacob. Yep. Yeah, read that again. Read that verse again. Um, it's one, um, Psalms 114, verse 7. Mm -hmm. Tremble down earth at the presence of the Lord. Come on. At the presence of the God of Jacob. Right, and the presence of the God of Jacob. Okay. So that's that. Those, that's, those are those different um, tornadoes and natural disasters and hurricanes and stuff like that. All right. That, 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 make, that make manifest, or should I say the angel of the Lord make manifest those things in this reality to happen. So that judgment can be invoked. You see what I'm saying? So I'm going to read this article. All right, hold on. Yeah, see? Nahum chapter 1 verse 6. Who can stand before his indignation and who can abide in the fierceness of his anger? Right. His fury is poured out like fire. Right, his and fury the, is poured out like fire. Go on. And the rocks are thrown down by him. Uh-huh. The Yahweh yeah, is says, put... Yeah, it says the rocks are thrown down by him. Like when you go over there in Mexico and they show this footage on the YouTube, how those footage is tumbled on top of the people. Okay. So that's showing you right there that even when rocks or bricks are thrown down, it's because of the Lord. Whether it be a hurricane or some sort of earthquake. Or a mud, right, a mudslide. So these are all of the elements that the Lord brings about. Through his angels, his powers. Okay. 
Go on. The hour is good. Mm -hmm. A stronghold in the day of trouble. A stronghold. Key word, he's a stronghold. So if we abide in him, then we'll be preserved from danger, from evil. But how do we abide in him by confessing his name? Because it tells you in Proverbs the 18th chapter, and I believe it's the 10th verse, it states how the, um, the name of the Lord is, is, is likened unto a tower. Okay? So we gotta confess his name. We can't say, well, the name don't matter. And it's, uh, the, uh, the name of the Lord, we don't really know the name of the Lord. We don't know the Hebrew. We can't be talking about that shenanigans. We already got the Hebrew ready. Okay? So read that. It says, Yahweh is good. A stronghold in a day of trouble. Right, so if, you ain't, if the Lord ain't dealing with you, you're just gonna be out there. You're gonna be destroyed, man. Okay, now the Lord can deal with certain men, okay? But the Lord chooses those men. We see what's in John 15 and 16. Go on. And he knoweth them that trust in him. Right, and he knoweth them that trust in him. And there's, there's no other people out here but us that trust in the Lord. I mean, look around for crying out loud. Pound the camera around, brother, if you can't up a shot. Okay, if you look at all of these people, they're doing what they're doing. We're the only two young men out here that's standing out confessing the Lord's work. Okay, there's more people just doing their own thing and living according to their lust or living vainly. And we're the only two men in worldly station bringing out the work, man. And it's like that all over the world. You got a few men or a few prophets that are amongst the majority of the people and they're doing what the Lord told them to do. Alright, so read that, we run that verse one more time. That's a beautiful verse. The hour is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, mm -hmm. and he knoweth them that trust in him. And he knoweth them that trust in him. And he knoweth them that trust in him. Read that. Okay, read that. But with an overrunning flood, right. he will make an utter end of the place thereof. Right, but with an overflowing flood, he will make the end of the place thereof. And that's what's happening in America. Well, the Lord, I mean, America's still there. Okay, America's still going to be there. But really, the flood is going to be the flood of fire. We're soon to the second, what is it? Second Peter, the third chapter, man. Because it says that this word shall be kept in store unto fire into the day of judgment, man. So, the, the, so I mean, we had the flood in, uh, what is it, during the time of Noah, which it was the waters. But the next flood is going to come by the, the overflowing of fire. Nuclear fire. Go on, brother. That's why they got those missiles. That's why the Iranians, the Russians, the United States, England, and all of the EU countries all got those missiles propelled. Why? Because that's going to invoke the lake of fire. All right? That's going to be the next flood. Go on, brother. But with an overrunning flood, mm -hmm. he will make an utter end of the place thereof. Yeah. And darkness shall pursue his enemies. And that's it on that right there. And darkness shall pursue his enemies. And that's why America is being uh, destroyed by those different natural disasters over there, man. So the Lord, he orchestrates peace. He brings about blessings, but he also brings about destruction too. Okay? And that, and that's when it's going to intensify. It's going to get worse and worse and worse. You got a precept, right? Go on. It's at Psalms 77 and uh, 16, mm. and it says, the water saw thee almost high. Mm. The water saw thee. Mm -hmm. They were afraid. The depths were, the depths also were trapped, were troubled. Right. The clouds poured out water. The skies sent out a sound. Thine arrows also went abroad. The yep. voice of thy thunder was in in the heaven. The lightnings lightened the world. The earth trembled and shook. Mm. Thy way is in the sea, and thy path is in the great waters and the footsteps are not known. So that's showing you there is that... Where is that song? In it? Song yeah. 7 yeah, no, no, no. So that's showing you right there that the law controls all elements and all of the elements reference the most high. What's the most high verse again? Uh, 77 and uh, from 16. 77. Okay. You know, you got certain people that will call it well, uh, uh, Mother Nature. Really it's Father Nature because the Father controls all these elements. Right? So let's 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 get that in um I'm gonna read this article. If anybody got one more precept, then you can read it. If not, I'm gonna go into this article. Uh, 
we are right here. I tell you what, brother, read one, read one more preset. Well, oh, you got one more preset, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, read, read that one and read um, what is it? Psalms. I think it's uh, 68 to 20. It says that um, the Lord belongs to Israel. Should be done. Matter of fact, no, not even that. Give me Deuteronomy 32. Well, you can get three. You can get two of them. You can get that one in Deuteronomy 32. It's about how the Lord. Psalms 68 and 20. Deuteronomy 32. I think we'll hold that. You got a piece of thing. Yeah, read that. That second Ezra 9 and 2. Then shalt thou understand that it's the very same time where in the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. That's the spirit. He already read that already. He already read that. Okay. Uh, That's the spirit, but you can read it again. Therefore, when the, therefore when there shall be earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. So it says that, so when you shall see earthquakes and uproars in the people of the world, go on. Uh, then shall thou understand that, that, that the Most High spake of these things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Yeah. Uh, for like as all, for, for, uh, for like as all that is made in the world, have a beginning and an end, mm -hmm. and the end is manifest. And the end is manifest, and we are living in it. Can't nobody come out and say anything different. And, if, and I mean, they can, but what it just goes to show is that that person is in cloud nine somewhere. Okay, he's either got his head somewhere else. But if you, if you got your head in reality, and you're in tune with what you see around you, even spiritually, you know, without a shred of a doubt, we are at the end of this world. Okay, it's quite obvious. You know, we are at the end of this thing. And I understand something. I mean, if you if you don't know that, then it's really because the most side blinded you not to see what time you live in. The most side created you just to be vain and to look at things from a vain standpoint. That's all that is. But read, read that verse again. Uh, let me read the next one. Uh, even so, the times also, like it, for like us. For like as all that is made in the world have mm. a beginning and an end, mm -hmm. and the end is manifest. Yeah. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings in wonders and powerful works, yeah. and endings in effects and signs. Right, like what we're seeing right now, all these different catastrophes around the world. Those are those are effect, those are um, effects of the signs. Okay, but what I want what I wanted the brother to read is is all. Um, where the Lord told Ezra is that when you start seeing these things and you start seeing these signs, then then know that the highest will visit the world which she which she made. Okay, but that's all cool. That's all right. You know we're gonna we're gonna keep this thing moving. So yeah, read what you got, brother. Before you get it, huh? Change the battery. It's almost finished. Okay. 